Hello and welcome to the New Haven Museum. My name is Jason Bischoff Forrest, curator of the exhibit Factory. Factory tells the post-industrial underground history of the New Haven Clock Company. The colorful history of this building was often hidden in plain view. Every American town has one, especially in the Northeast. An old, worn-down, shuttered industrial building, reputed to be filled with ghosts and other supernatural specters. So why talk about the old New Haven Clock Company factory on Hamilton Street? For one, it is still standing. In a city renowned for the mass demolitions of the 20th century, that is certainly worth a conversation. Two, if the walls could speak, they would reveal layers of distinct personalities in everyday tales. Years that could easily be lost to time. The New Haven Clock Company was incorporated in 1853, spurred by Chauncey Jerome's vision to produce quality timepieces that were affordable to the masses. It was the first factory to produce well-made, inexpensive brass clock movements in America. For over a century, they were a worldwide known brand and the bedrock of a growing neighborhood. Employees were German, Polish, Swedish, Russian, and Italian. Over 1,500 men, women, and children Generations of families made the timepieces that were the high-tech commodities of their day. It's important to think about this. These clocks and later watches were the equivalent of the iPhones of their day. Generations of families, newly arrived immigrants, and their descendants' lives revolved around this place. The presidents of the New Haven Clock Company for a time were the mighty titans of industry, world leaders of commercial technology not unlike Apple or Microsoft of today. These men oversaw a period of development when the simple recording of time went from being local to each individual community to standardized and commercialized around the world. Today, the surrounding neighborhood consists of mostly 1960s and 70s warehouses and other commercial buildings. Historically, the factory complex accommodated a tremendous variety of operations that were needed to make clock cases and assemble finished clocks. The brass movements for the clocks, as well as the company's watches, were made in a separate plant across Hamilton Street, which was demolished in the 1960s. Today, the building is vacant. Nearly all window openings have been boarded up. Some of the interior has been partitioned, but most of the space is as it was, with large open areas separated by brick firewalls.